Hey YouTube, it's Asair. Alright, so as we all know, as far as when it comes to the inhabitants of these lands, who the true indigenous Niji of these lands belong to, we are the direct descendants of the indigenous inhabitants of these lands. We are the direct descendants. Now, we already know that when the European got here in 1492, the inhabitants in which they encountered were our ancestors. They did not encounter a mongoloid. They did not encounter a pale face that looks like them. They encountered Negro or Negroid featured people who were colored, copper color, brown, or black, however they wanted to describe us, but they encounter our copper-colored ancestors. And every depiction that they came out with from the late 15th century when it comes to depictions, the statues that they created that sit in the museum in, in Britain, for one, the 16th century, the 17th century, and then you go into the 19th century where you have photographs you have pictures of who the real indigenous people were of these lands. We know our history. Dane Calloway has made sure to show us who we really are, who we truly are. And that's something that we as a people need to understand. Because at the end of the day, we are the ones who have to stand up and take our birthright to know who we are, where we come from. Because without knowing where we come from, we'll fall for anything. And we, uh, we will continue to have people who perpetrate to be us. When they perpetrate on our land, they pretend to be us in name, in title. And that is not how that should be. Not even a little bit. And my video is fair use. So all the information that I will be putting in this video today is fair use. Now, the images that I'm showing you, this is from... The book America. It was made, it was published in 1671 by John Ogilvy. And every depiction in here, I really hope y'all can see that, um, but every depiction that they have in here is of our ancestors, the copper color of these lands that they encountered. It talks about Hispaniola, which is what is now referred to as Spanish America, South America. And then we have to see what they were seeing. Clearly, the people in these depictions from 1671 are not allegories. These are the inhabitants in which the Europeans in 1492 were coming across. Everything, now, obviously there are some depictions in here that are, you know, some exaggerations. But as far as it, when it comes to the people, this is who they encountered when they got here. The copper color people of America. Every image that they have of America are of our people. Not a pale-faced or Chinese-looking person. Every one that they encounter look like we look. Even when you start to look at... Let's see. Bringing up... Americas from the 1800s. 
copper color ancestors is who they encountered our people clearly they are not of mongoloid descent they are not of eurasian or european descent they are our people they can try to say all day long and try to hide us hide our history hide our heritage but they can't do that. See, our people was here long before the European got here to these lands. And that's what needs to be known and shown of our people. It goes very deep to show that they went through so much to try and hide who we are. I mean, you can try to hide the truth, but as they say, what's done in the dark always comes to the light. All of these people, all of these images are of our people. Our ancestors, every depiction, every picture, every drawing are of our copper color ancestors. We need to know who we are. Do you know who you are? If you don't, you should know now. We come from these lands. Now called North America. This is, this is what we are. To all of my Niji, speak to your family members, your older ones, your grandparents, even your parents. You need to check your, your great aunts, your great uncles. Everyone in your immediate family whom is able to answer these questions for you ask them while you can because they're not going to be here much longer you know their time runs out so any conversation that you have with them you need to have it recorded or videotape it whatever you need to do because they are the link to the past without doing research without knowing who you are you'll fall for anything you have to know where you come from from the past you need to know of the past to know where you are in the present to know where you are in the present is where you're going to know where you're going for any kind of future you wish to have they talk a lot about our history but yet they lie about our history. The pale face comes from nothing. They tell us about Africa and Europe and Asia. You know, but they talk about Africa and Europe as if Africa and Europe are somehow two separate entities. When they're not. Europe is Africa. Africa is Europe. Period. It is one landmass. It has never been separated. We know this. Despite all the lies that they have told from since they have been here, we, we know what the truth is. The real African Americans are the European pale face that came over here. They are the African Americans. They told their story of slavery to us their story is not ours. Our story begins long before they got here. Our ancestors have been here for millennia. Millennia to be exact. So know who you are. Because at the end of the day, that is what counts. We need unity in our community. The indigenous community. Our aboriginal pride. These lands are sacred. And we can't let people 
who do not belong here try to dictate who we are and where we go. They can't dictate other people who are also indigenous to the lands of America, period. Whether it be north, south, central, it doesn't matter. The islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, even Haiti or Haiti, they all are part of these lands. All of them are. None of them are from Africa. We already know Africans aren't even African, but I'll make a later uh, video on that topic at a later time. But, like I said, the purpose of this video is to show, you know, this, these images of our people, this is what we are. The copper color. Not mongoloid. And they know it. And they try to say that they're, that they're us. But when you look at a mongoloid. Now just type in, you know, modern day. Modern Native American. Sorry, my computer is not working today. <laughs> but, now, how do we go from Negroid features to Mongoloid? I mean, this is a Native American? I mean, they are not copper color. These are Europeans and mongoloids perpetrating to be us these are th these are not sioux they're mongoloid children i mean they have literally hijacked our identities and to show you these are the modern day native americans as as, as i'm showing but then you look up modern Siberians and it comes to the same people hmm. imagine that Siberian oh that looks like a European but then again they are a part of the same group pretty much Eurasians Asiatics these are your Siberians. Look just like your modern day Native Americans. But these. These are Siberians. From Siberia. I mean. <laughs> this, this is what. This is what I'm talking about. These are Siberians and then I'll put up a side by side so that people can see you know the blatant I can pull up the Navajo it's it is the same difference yes all right so again this is all fair use so I don't want any copyrights on my video Now, I will shrink this down. There we go. So, on the left, we have a modern day Native American. On the right, you're Siberian. Both are the same people. They are not us. And then you go and you see, and I'll use my tribe, Cherokee. Now, they have the Mongoloid Cherokee. And then they have the European 
Cherokee, okay? When we we know who my people are. This is a Cherokee? Really? He ain't copper color. Not even close. All these people, they they claim that they are Native American. They that they are indigenous to these lands. How? That makes no sense. Because they're not. They are not us. This. I don't know. This is this is a a picture of a, a mongoloid in the eighteen hundreds when they started their transplant. To replace us. That's what they did. That is a mongoloid. Same as today. Just from the 1800s. To replace us. And it's. It makes me mad. To know. That this. Is what's going on today. That they have went to great lengths to quite literally hide who we are. And for what? I, I would like with the Choctaw. We can, I'll bring up one of the best pictures, a group of beautiful Choctaw. And let's see. Gonna separate that down. Can move that over. It has its perks having a computer that's got a touch screen. <laughs> but on the eight, on the left, Choctaw. But then you look at the Choctaw of today. Bingo. Hmm. Bingo. So these are Choctaw now? How do we go from the original Choctaw to this. I mean, really? That, that's not something that happens. That's two different phenotypes. Like, Melinda Tom Lawson is one of the best illustrations of a full-blooded Choctaw. Versus this. There's no. Th that does not happen. But yet they have tried to hide it. And say that these people. Are these people. And of the same tribe of, of Choctaw. See, my Niji, that's what I'm talking about. They want to basically erase us from history and put everyone else into history and basically put us like we were on the outskirts that we just didn't exist before them. So, to all of my Niji, do your research on your family. Because that's something you have to do. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have your own research for who you are and what you are, then you allow everyone to literally sit there and just pretty much run a, run a charade on who you are. 
while they enjoy the benefits of your people, of the benefits that were supposed to go to your people, to us, to our ancestors, and yet we ourselves were disinherited. We were cheated out of what was rightfully ours. And are we going to sit here and let that stand? We cannot do that. Because for us to let people tell us what our history is, then we've pretty much given up everything. And I'll share something personal with y'all. My grandmother, her name was Eileen Hockenhall. She was full blood Cherokee. I have her nose. <laughs> but that was my grandmother. And her birth certificate says colored. Um, along with her death certificate. So, it goes to show, you have to know who you are. Because that is how you're going to know self at the end of the day. So, to all of my Niji, do the research like Dane has been showing us and telling us to do. We need to, when we become cognizant of who and what we are, only then can we uh, really get change and make change effective so that we can get back to how our ancestors were on these lands. Tries most high. Peace out, family. <laughs>